Your elections are going to be held in Uganda on January 14 to elect the new president. Yuvari Museveni, who has been in power since 1986, is running for another term. He is being challenged by Bobby Voyne. Bobby Voyne is singer turned politician. He is challenging Yuvari Museveni, who has been in power for the last 36 years. Uh, viewers, Bobby Voyne and other opposition figures are accusing President of Uganda, Yuvari Museveni, of using police and other forces against peaceful political activities of opposition political parties. Last week, clashes started between police and opposition political parties and more than 50 persons were killed. Today, once again, we saw clashes in Kaunga uh, area viewers and several uh, Bobby Wine supporters were injured today as well. Uh, viewers, Yuvari uh, Museveni is not uh, holding any large-scale gatherings. He is saying that there is threat of the spread of COVID-19. That is why opposition should not uh, organize any gatherings as well. Uh, that is why police is uh, doing crackdown against opposition political parties. Uh, but opposition is saying that under the pretext of the spread of COVID-19, Yuvari Museveni is uh, doing a crackdown against opposition political parties. Interestingly, viewers, yesterday some journalists of CBC, Canadian news uh, channel, were also deported by Uganda. Uganda is claiming that these journalists were supporting opposition political parties in Uganda. So we'll, let's see what happens uh, on January 14. But so far, opposition is accusing Yuvari Museveni of using police and other forces to stop uh, political activity in Uganda. Interestingly, viewers, uh, last night, Ugandan president in a speech quoted a verse of Bible and he said that those who are wrongdoers, they deserve death. Opposition is seeing this this uh, these, this wording of uh, Yuvari Museveni as an open intimidation, and they are saying that Yuvari Museveni once again wants to be in power by hook or by crook. Thank you for watching.